Bluffton University playing the D3 NCAA Volleyball Tournament today in Pennsylvania. Beavers facing Wittenberg. After taking the first set, the Bluffton does fall in four to the Tigers. Austin Scott has today's Layfeld Welding Top 5 Plays of the Week. As promised last week, playoff football leads off this week's countdown. It's the Lima Senior Spartans at number five. You might not want to blink for this play. Darius Gordon throws to Rico Stafford for the touchdown. Spartans win this one in overtime for their first playoff victory since 1996. That was a good year if I say so myself. Ottawa Glendorf spoils Indian Lakes playoff debut at the four spot. Titans in the red zone and Zach Underbrink lobs it up to Jay Kaufman on the fade route and he comes down with the catch for the Titans touchdown. Kaufman had a defender draped all over him on that one. Titans move on to week 12. Opening kickoff in Macomb as the Panthers host Crestview. It's the visiting Knights that strike first in this game. Peyton Niddle fields the kickoff and finds a seam up the middle. He goes all the way in 13 seconds for the red, white, and blue touchdown. Crestview ends a solid season at 4-7. There's the man with the tricks up his sleeve. Chip Otten and his Cavaliers taking the field. First offensive play for Coldwater, and it's Hemmelgarn to Harlemer to post on the hook and ladder. That's a black and orange touchdown, and the Cavaliers cruise to the win in this one. More playoff action at number one. This time, it's boys soccer regional semis. Matt Finkel and Mark Jurness have the call. Of uh, sudden, there's a shot across. Nice cross. Oh, Whitworth there it is. finishes it anyway to Played win. It on the volley. How about Garrett Whitworth back-to-back -back games, overtime winners. Elida is going to the regional finals. Watch this goal one more time. Littler plays the volley between the defender's legs and into the back of the net for the game-winning goal. Great work by our team behind the cameras last week, and we have to thank Leifeld Welding for setting us up with a cross on this week's edition of the Top 5 Plays.